Welcome to Ecoholics. In this lecture, we will discuss about the important books for Indian Economic Service Examination. So in this video, a short video will discuss about the paper 4 that is Indian Economy. So there are 11 parts of this particular paper and we need to carefully prepare this paper because this paper looks very simple from we can say from the bird's eye view but it is it is very very tricky in answer writing you have certain kind of high level content with lot of supportive evidences with authentic sources of data reports etc so it, this kind of syllabus it covers horizontally as well as vertically so it, it is very very important that you should prepare this particular paper very carefully in order to fetch marks in the examination so we'll start our discussion with uh, the paper that is the 11 parts of this paper first one we'll we'll start with it is written as history of development and planning so the first important heading under this paper paper 4 of indian economic service that is indian economy the first heading is the history of development and economic planning the second is the federal finance Now under federal finance, uh, there is certain reports like Sarkaria Commission report which is very very important. You will find a question in every 3 years on this question paper about 73rd and 74th constitution amendment act regarding panchayats and municipalities that is rural and urban local bodies that is a 3 tier government. So third tier government obviously very very important very very vital. Now here the third one they talked about the budgeting and fiscal policy so budgeting obviously that is related to yearly budgets of government of India and fiscal policy related to taxes and expenditure the fourth one is about poverty unemployment and human development the fifth one they are having is agriculture and rural development strategies rural development strategy the sixth one they are having is India's experience with urbanization and migration so India has experience with urbanization and migration the seventh one is having India's industrial development experiences the eighth one they are having is about labor the ninth one I am writing here is about foreign trade. The tenth one they are having is money and banking. And the last eleventh we have is about inflation. Now very carefully listen about the resources what you have to refer for this particular syllabus now in this syllabus history of development and planning you can cover this from any indian economy book like uma kapila indian economy since independence 1947 this is the best book to cover this now federal finance you will not find any book so you have to do certain kind of reports like sarkaria commission report you have to download from the website government website as well as 73rd and 74th constitutional amendment act and these are from the economic perspective so you can find some a polity book that actually gives certain insights about politic uh, economic aspects of 73rd and 74th constitutional amendment act Budgeting and fiscal policy obviously there's one site India budget .gov .in, and that particular site you'll find certain budget documents as well as fiscal policy So download these documents and you can study these documents in detail 
regarding poverty unemployment and human development for human development you have to refer the website of UNDP and some other newspaper you can also follow now for poverty and unemployment any decent textbook like Mishra and Puri or Uma Kapila it will suffice this particular topic regarding agriculture and rural development strategy for agriculture again the Uma Kapila is the best book it will give you insights since 1947 till the present time and you can refer for certain uh, EPW articles economic and political weekly this one magazine that is the for the latest four edition it is for free download so you can uh, actually access that agriculture and rural development uh, I would rather suggest take a subscription of EPW and access the archive so it will give more points that will actually uh, help you in examination writing different answer from other candidates regarding India's experience with urbanization and migration obviously an important tool because India is having around 31.5 percent of population living in urban areas and now you know that there is a big challenge regarding urban infrastructure etc and migration like if you see the city of Delhi where I am living so in the city of Delhi lot of 90 percent of the population is migrated population so how to cope up this huge amount of migration and how to build in urban infrastructure in order to cope the extra inflow of the population so another important source important source is newspaper and EPW magazine again the industrial development of India you will find in a decent textbook like Mishra and Puri as well as the Uma Kapila both of them will suffice regarding labor so you have to find in the newspaper you can find an economic survey as well and regarding this i think you have to refer certain uh, important sites like ministry of labor or ilo for that matter now apart from this ninth foreign trade foreign trade is having the varied resources like you can also follow certain sites that will give insights about india and wto for foreign trade there are uh, websites of we can say Ministry of Commerce and Industry that will actually give insights on India's foreign trade policy and for foreign trade basics you can find in Uma Kapila as well as Mishra and Puri so both the books are very very important you can buy both the books regarding money and banking S.B. Gupta Suraj Bhan Gupta this is a small book and it will give you bigger insight about money and banking if it is not in the last uh, video I talked about L.M. Bhole like for general economics too so L.M. Bhole will also give you certain insights and regarding this you have to read a newspaper for this paper it is very very mandatory that you cannot leave a single day the Hindu newspaper it means you are not doing justice with your dream so you have to read the Hindu newspaper no need to read any business newspaper for Indian economic services but read EPW economic and political weekly magazine and the Hindu newspaper as well as Indian Express newspaper only economics part of these two newspapers not the full newspaper so read only one newspaper fully like Indian Express or the Hindu but read a business portion of or business pages of both the newspaper last one is inflation so I'll bring you certain important uh, concepts about inflation in the next upcoming videos and apart from this for all this we can say uh, the syllabus mentioned 11 points I have one module of Indian economy so you can just ping me on whatsapp and I'll give you that particular pdf for free apart from this on our mobile app we are having the Indian economic service course where we provide regular classes as well as weekly tests for your better answer writing practice if you are interested in that you can join that particular uh, course by registering on our website that is ecoholics.in so i hope you find it useful this discussion of the book list of general economics one two three and indian economy if i would suggest rather for general english and general studies for general studies you just read the 11th and 12th class ncrt of polity that is generally called as political science in 11 12th the history and geography because the fourth part is economy so you have already covered economy so just read 11th and 12th class ncrt for polity geography and history that will cover your general studies portion of indian economic service for general english you can do writing practice as well as if you are weak in grammar you can read ren and martin and for uh, the vocabularies they are asking you can read one book that is 
uh, word power made easy so that is a book that will very helpful and apart from this you can also do certain banking questions regarding passage regarding uh, the terms so you can also adopt some cat level vocabulary because they are asking some idioms and the one word that you have to make sentences so this is the proper strategy for indian economic services i hope you like this initiative please give a big thumbs up as well as like share and subscribe ecoholics thank you so much have a nice day